Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, now that we're at the lounge here, we can finally challenge... Yeah, ha 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 Oh, that will be a good match. Okay, maybe not. I'll... I know I'm going to demolish poor Grace there. But, uh, well... I guess he'll try his best in match play, but it's not going to work out for him. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And I don't think it's going to work out for Tiny either, but, uh... Gene, however, that's... that's gonna be something... That's gonna be something else. He says he only plays singles, but... Well, let, we'll, we'll see about that in the future. <laughs> so, uh, wait, what? I thought... I thought there was a singles match play. I could have swore there was... Hold on... Yeah, singles match play. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, huh? I thought... What am I missing here? Hold on a second. Yeah, I thought you have to go over and flip-flop around to talk to him for the match play. Or do you have to kind of set this up? Uh... <laughs> Uh, no, no, hmm, well how do I set up a match play with him then, or do I still have to wait to do that? Hmm, uh, hmm, maybe I, I maybe I'll have to do doubles match play today, but I'm, I'm, I was, I was sure there's singles match play in this, well, 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 what I could do here is go back to the practice center and remember Joe over here? He's like, hey, let's do, uh, yes I will. Oh, may oh, that's right, the singles match play are, yeah, the singles match play are with Joe, not Putz. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, we're in. <laughs> so Putz has the doubles match play thingajigger. Alright, let's go. <laughs> we are in! <laughs> oh man, I'm thinking... I think what I keep doing this walkthrough so far is I keep confusing this game with the, the Game Boy Color game, because I was playing that game so much for the walkthrough before, and yeah, I was just... I just keep messing with myself. So anyway, we are actually playing against Joe here and not with Joe. Now the idea of match play is not necessarily to get the lowest over round, like overall round, but it's more about just beating your opponent hole to hole. Like I'm trying to get anything better than he can get <laughs> on any given hole, but if I if I say get a plus six on this hole, you know, six over par, it still won't matter that much in the long run because. I am just going to lose one point on the hole. So it isn't going to be losing six points on the hole if he gets par and I don't. You know, I get six over. You know, that's that's the thing about match plays. That you never can really get too far behind unless you're playing really badly and you're not really getting on stuff like Joe. <laughs> so I... I think the thing that I was remembering here too is that I wasn't playing putts here before and putts was sucking. Oh no no no, I was playing Joe and he was sucking. <laughs> uh, I should I shouldn't even need to move the cursor here. Yeah, there we go. And I got the birdie. And now despite him being at the very least one over par, so that means I'm too <laughs> I'm too ahead of him this hole. I'm still only going to get one point for this hole. And, yeah, you can see the results there, but it's more useful to actually see, see the results there, in all honesty, because that board is more of a visual. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get over those trees now, if you don't mind. Now, if I go backspin thusly here, I should be able to keep it from going down that slope. But, yeah, um, when you tie holes, you'll notice that the, the ten medals to win thing will go down to nine. Uh, because, you know, winning 10 holes out of 18 holes is an automatic win, but if you tie one, that means that the, the margin for victory is different, so that's why it goes down. Then every two holes from there on out, it's going to go down to 8, then every two holes, 7, 6, 5, etc. And, and that's why I kind of like that more than the actual board board, because it's more of a, a better visual type thing. 
And you know what? My height is a lot better now. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of do this and do that. The whole drop and stop thing. I don't want to go right up to the hole. I just want to get on the flat spot more than anything. Yeah, that's good right there. Because the thing about it is I always want to make sure that I make my next putt if at all possible. And the easiest way to do that is to always put myself where the flat spot is around the hole if there is one. Or at the very least give myself as little break as possible. And wow, Joe. Just wow, Joe. <laughs> this is... Oh my... Oh, jeez. <laughs> He's not even making pars here. Uh, I'm gonna do that sort of dealio. Power shots, get under the ball at the impact area, and hope for the best. Because there's a lot of slope on this screen. It should turn out okay though. Because it's gonna come in low and it's gonna run out. Backspin's gonna control it. and Yeah, there we go. Alright. Mm, that looks, that's about where I played mine, actually. But he's probably, yeah, yeah, he's probably gonna mess it up. <laughs> well, well, you know what would be really funny if, is if I just completely, oh my, Arceus, holy jeez, Amaterasu. <laughs> How do you hit that far off the impact area? Unless you're having... Terrible display lag or frame skip issues. <laughs> and there you go. By the way, if you hit outside um, that the borderline of, like, you see that red bar at the impact area underneath the blue bar there, that is the indicator of whether or not you duff it. Like, if you get outside that bar, you'll duff the shot. And the auto swing will always hit inside the blue area. But you can always be more precise, more consistently with, yeah, the power of manual swing. That's why I go with manual, because I can hit closer to that center line on the right side more often than I do, I mean, than I would with auto swing. Plus, I can control the spin and everything like that, so that's why I really recommend that you go with manual swing and really, really get used to that. Even if you have to like get used to it in the practice grounds and stuff like that, you will find it is a world of difference to your game in how much lower you can shoot when you when you manage to master the dual sw I mean the manual swing thing. Like this is the primo way to get your scores lower. You just aren't really going to get them that low if you're hitting auto swing up all the time. I mean, yes, it is possible to beat the game if you're hitting an auto swing, but it's it's so much harder in auto swing than it is in manual, once you get the hang of manual. Because you just have so much more control. And that heavy rough over there, he, he's, he got himself pretty far off track there. I'm gonna... Uh, I don't know about dropping and stopping it here, because there's a lot of slope, so I'm gonna knock it down to a 9 iron, and then hit myself into the slope a little bit, and then backspin it. And that should, in theory, be a low enough shot that it'll bounce forward and then stop on this. Oh, no, 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 it didn't get up there. Well, I don't think I'll have to move the cursor, though, so it should be okay. Just, oh, jeez, you really miss it, that. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll have to move the cursor all that much. Maybe just a smidge to the right, because there's a very large arrow there. Uh, 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 uh. That looks good there, and I'll hit over past the mark because I'm going uphill. Yeah, there we go. And the birdies continue. <laughs> Oops. Oh, poor Joe. Poor Joe. Uh, 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 uh. By the way, uh, I forgot to mention, another reason why I'm playing singles first over doubles for the most part is because I can get more experience points faster that way because the better you do, the more experience points you'll get. And, you know, in doubles, it's much, much harder to actually get lower scores. Like, as you, as you can tell here, I'm just birdieing on top of birdies, and it just, it just speeds things along in, ter in terms of the character level up development thing, so... Yeah, double, I mean, so yeah, I'm gonna save doubles for the very last portions, at least on the early games, for the most part. Uh, mm, mm, uh, mm, mm. I think I can drop it and stop it. As long as I get myself, like, within... Uh, I don't... Mm, yeah, like, there is probably good, if I can land it there. 
Uh, well, that's that's okay, I guess. But yeah, the thing about it is, if I land it up on top of that slope and then backspin it, it should stop. But if I hit into the slope, that's a problem. And the thing is that I had to worry about the wind too, even though it's two miles per hour, because it'll it'll push me along as well. Always gotta take into account all the factors of your shot, uh, like the trajectory, the wind, stuff like that. So it's just just a matter of observation, and you'll eventually get the feel of all this as you get to use uh, as you get used to your character's stats and whatnot. Like depending on how you decide to raise your character for your strengths or weaknesses or whatever that you want to cover. Uh, you're gonna wanna play your shots differently, but for the most part, no matter how your character is set up, you can get a birdie on every hole. <laughs> so don't don't worry too much about that. Just just a matter of getting your character the the way that you need it to be, and not the way someone else tells you that it needs to be. I mean, yeah, probably early on in the game, you want to get your power up to snuff, like increase your power so that you can make it easier to get birdies, but for the most part, if you have a low shot, if you have a high shot, if you have a lot of spin, if you don't have a lot of spin, etc, etc, draw fade, yada, 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 it doesn't really matter what you have as long as you plan for it, get used to it, and you'll still be able to make the shots. It's just a matter of practice and stuff and stuff, yes. <laughs> You get what I'm saying here, and I really don't want to keep burning power shots here, but in the rain, I want a higher trajectory, if at all possible, because it's going to allow me to, yeah, allow me to get it closer, because the rain stops the ball faster than regular conditions. So that's why I kind of risked losing a power shot there, but eh, it's okay. He got, that's a pretty good approach shot there, but unfortunately, he is one stroke behind me, so... Yeah, he just, he just keeps losing. <laughs> Just keeps on losing. Um, uh, eh, I don't think I'll be able to make the green in two, but I'll give it a shot because I'm going solo here. That is as perfect as I could have made it on that shot. <laughs> Slope's gonna push me over to the right. That, that's what I planned for. And, well, it's my right, it's more like north on, on the actual screen. I should say my character's right and north on the actual screen. And I don't know if I can make the green in two, but that, that would be spectacular if I could. I just might be able to at my positioning, because that's pretty good there. Because I'm, I'm like, less than 200 yards, was it? I, I, I didn't really notice on the... Uh, oh, it's 203. But yeah, around that spot, I recall, as being rather good spot. Uh, especially in the early game because, you know, you don't have that much power on your character and whatnot. All I want to do is get it up on the flat area and then I'll be able to make the eagle putt. So I'm going to do this and just regular backspin because I'm going to let it run out a little bit. And we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's eagle time. <laughs> oh boy, Joe. You, you like even if you get birdie on this one, that's that's not good enough. Uh, I recommend you putt that, Joe. Just saying. Well, he's using the pitching wedge. He's not taking my advice. <laughs> well, well, well. I guess it's over for him on this hole then. <laughs> he hasn't even really been able to like, get get the ball in the hole at all, too. He's just like, when I get the ball in the hole, the hole ends. It's, automatic forfeit. <laughs> uh, I want some trajectory there. That looks like a good landing area. I just gotta get the power right. Oh, there we go. That is perfect. And it should be right next to the hole. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Even gave me the little close-up jigger. And, 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 oh, 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 oh. Mm. Uh. Oh, Joe. Joe, please, just get it in, for your own sake. <laughs> well, well, it looks like he wasn't able to get the close-up thingy-jigger of his own. <laughs> At least until, well, he actually made the ball in. And by the way, that green, I just noticed, kind of looks like an ocarina, like a sweet potato ocarina. Did you notice that? Anyway, moving on with the groove on. 
Uh, where was the hole again here? Okay, it's straight up. Okay. So I want to be more towards this side, so I'll take a forward. Plot my way, I mean, plot myself over there. Yeah, I purposefully hit less power there because I don't, I'm not using a power shot there, so I'm not worried about it just saying nice shot for the sake of it saying nice shot because that, that's why it say that's why it says nice shot when it says nice shot. It doesn't actually mean it's a nice shot, it's just saying that you hit it properly on the impact area, <laughs> like both where the marker was, like where you slide it around with the L and R buttons or, or left it in place or whatever and over at the impact area on the right side, so both, like, within one notch of both sides. Uh, so, yeah. It's not really that big of a deal if you don't, if you don't change this thing right here. Uh, I don't want to use a driver off the fairway, that's a little bit on the risky side. Like, you notice that, well, maybe it's not that risky. I was gonna say, you notice on the, the impact area it gets smaller the higher the club you use, but no, I, I can actually get away with using a driver here. But I don't think I want to, and I can use a power shot and a three wood with some backspin. <laughs> so that seems like the better choice for this one, you know, fairway woods for the fairway. Nice, better trajectory. Oh, that's... That's so nice. But for Joe, not so nice. <laughs> See, I'm just kind of playing my own game here, just letting Joe do his own thing. See, even in match play, you aren't really truly playing against someone. I mean, yeah, you are trying to, to top them and everything like that, but you're not really... You're not having any impact on their shots. <laughs> you're just kind of kind of playing your own game, and whatever happens, happens. Now, you, you notice it said dormy hole there? That's a fancy way of saying if you tie, you win. <laughs> so... And I'm going to go for the riskier landing area here just for the fun of it. And yeah, there's a little patch of fairway over here, and I managed to do it. So that's like a shortcut to the hole in a way, sort of, kind of. And what that's going to do is it's going to help me get to the green a little bit easier if I can land on it. But the thing is, you know, it's a risk-reward in that if you miss it, you end up in the rough, behind the tree, whatever. <laughs> so... If I'm aiming for something like that, you can tell that I'm feeling pretty confident in my playing ability, so... Yeah, I think things are going pretty well for me now. Uh, you know what, I think I'll, I'll leave it there. And hopefully I don't hit the pin that backspins off the green, because that would suck. Uh, we'll see, I guess. Uh, that's alright. That's not what I was going for, but... I don't know about Joe, though. <laughs> I mean, he... Oh, wow, that's... Well, I guess that's all right. Well, let's see if I can make my putt and make it a perfect win. Oh, there actually isn't any side slope there. Oh, I'll be able to make this putt. <laughs> like, perfectly. <laughs> I completely and utterly swept... Poor Joe. He didn't win a single hole. We didn't tie a single hole. It... That is just embarrassing. <laughs> Well, 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 I'll give them both a level up. <laughs> there we go. Oh, well, okay, whatever. I, I let it go too fast, but that's all right. Uh, increase the heights, because that's that's working well for me. I wouldn't recommend increasing it too high, though, because, you know, the wind will, wind will make you go a little bit, a little bit, a little bit haphazard, let's put it that way. And I unlocked a new character to play as in the character select screen for the non-story game type place. And I've also unlocked the match play. Oh, that's not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh wait, no, that is that is right. That's sing singles matches. I I totally misread that. I'm being dumb. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep, yep. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and a victory is mine. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Though it just it just wasn't meant to be with you in the in the slightest. <laughs> but now, um, as I was saying before regarding putts, I guess he he does doubles. So 
doubles it is. But, unfortunately for you, and probably fortunately for me, because otherwise this part's gonna go on for a while, and it'll take forever to upload and edit, I'm going to ed end this part off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part, when I do the doubles match play versus putts and someone. Hmm?